Thousands of Kyiv residents have gathered at the capital's Sofia Square to pray for fighter pilot Nadia Savchenko, who is on a hunger strike in a Moscow prison. Representatives of all religious denominations in Ukraine came to the square to support Savchenko, whose health has worsened dramatically in recent days. Church representatives say the fact that different denominations join the public prayer proves Ukraine's unity. We are united in all our wishes, in all of our good deeds. Such unity that we see today in Sofia Square can overcome any evil. Ukrainian pilot Savchenko was captured by Russian-backed militants in eastern Ukraine last June. She was handed over to Russia, where she was accused of complicity in killing two Russian journalists, a charge she denies. Savchenko has been on a hunger strike for 79 days now, and she's refused glucose injections more than two weeks ago. Her morale is strong, nothing and nobody can destroy it, but her physical condition is poor, even she admits it. She has a constant stomach ache, and she's taken some medicine to relieve the pain. Nadia's sister added that the public support is like food that keeps the pilot going. Residents in Kiev came out to support Savchenko, who Russia refuses to release, even though in January she became a member of the Council of Europe and received diplomatic immunity. Ukrainians who came to the square also prayed for peace in Ukraine and, in a symbolic act, released doves. And in the western city of Lviv, residents also held a rally supporting Nadia Savchenko. They held pictures of her, signs that said, We need you alive, and performed songs in honor of the Ukrainian pilot that has become a symbol of courage. <laughs>